The Concorde was a supersonic passenger airplane that operated from 1976 until its retirement in 2003. It was known for its exceptional speed, luxury, and the ability to travel faster than the speed of sound. In the 1950, as the world was recovering from World War II and entering a new era of technological advancement, the idea for a supersonic passenger aircraft began to take shape. This was a time when people were dreaming of faster and more efficient ways to travel across long distances. The Concorde project officially started in the 1960 as a collaboration between the United Kingdom and France. Both countries shared the vision of creating a revolutionary supersonic transport SST, aircraft. Construction of the first Concorde prototype began in 1965, and by 1967, it was ready for testing. On March 2, 1969, the Concorde made its historic maiden flight from Toulouse, France. This marked a significant milestone in the world of aviation, as it was the first supersonic passenger aircraft to take to the skies. The Concorde entered commercial service in 1976, with British Airways and Air France as the primary operators. Its main routes were transatlantic flights, connecting London and Paris with destinations in the United States and the Middle East. The Concorde's defining feature was its remarkable speed, capable of flying at over twice the speed of sound. This made it possible to reduce the travel time for transatlantic flights to roughly 3-3.5 hours, compared to around 7-8 hours on subsonic aircraft. The Concorde quickly became an icon of luxury air travel, offering elegant interiors, fine dining, and top-notch service. As the Concorde continued to serve the world's elite travelers, it faced its share of challenges. The aircraft was costly to operate, primarily due to its high fuel consumption. This made it an expensive choice for airlines. Another challenge came in the form of noise complaints from people living near airports where the Concorde operated. These concerns led to restrictions on the times and locations where the Concorde could take off and land. Despite these challenges, the Concorde retained its status as a preferred mode of travel for the affluent, celebrities, and business travelers who valued its incredible speed and luxurious experience. A devastating incident occurred on July 25, 2000, when an Air France Concorde crashed shortly after takeoff from Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. The crash was triggered by a piece of debris on the runway, which punctured a fuel tank, leading to a fire and loss of control. All 109 people on board and 4 people on the ground were tragically killed. This accident had a profound impact on the Concorde's reputation and safety. In April 2003, the decision was made to retire the Concorde from commercial service. Several factors contributed to this decision, including the high operating costs, decreasing passenger numbers, and concerns about its environmental impact. The final commercial flight of the Concorde took place on October 24, 2003, marking the end of an era in supersonic passenger aviation. The Concorde remains a symbol of human innovation and achievement, despite its retirement. Its legacy lives on as a testament to the quest for speed and luxury in air travel. Please subscribe the channel and ring all notification. Thanks for watching the video.